Uh, just as a quick note, in yesterday's video about box sizes, I talked about the FR10, the FR20, and the FR30. Well, here out in the warehouse is an FR10, an FR20, and an FR30. And you can pretty plainly see the difference in cabinet size. Okay, on to today's subject. This comes from Mohadeep in New Delhi, and he writes to me, my question is if I bought an amplifier in the USA with 110 volts and used a step-down transformer or a voltage regulator to get the power output to 110 from their power, which is 230 volts, then I'm sure that it would work. Yes, you are correct. However, a fellow audiophile tells me that it's not so simple. Ah, those fellow audiophiles, <laughs> always fountains of information. <laughs> and confusion. Either I will need very large transformers or a huge voltage regulator to cater to the power needs of the amplifier. Is this correct? And one last question, what about CD players? Would the difference between 60 hertz and 50 hertz cause the CD motor to spin slower? Well, let's start with the easy question, the CD player, no. Most CD players, every one that I have ever, nah. I don't know of any, because consider that unlike a turntable, and many turntables are locked to the frequent. They use the wall frequency to set the spin rate because, and, and you know, they're basically AC motors, but it's spinning at 33 or 45 RPMs, right? A CD motor is going like 600 RPM. So in those cases, and it has to speed up and slow down and all of that, so uh, it, no, no, those all run on DC motors. So as long as you get the 120, the 110, the 220, whatever, correct, then you don't have a problem with that. Now, your friend who told you that in order to cover the power requirements of your USA bought amplifier, he's correct. Absolutely correct. A step-down transformer only puts out X amount of power, and you have to have one that puts out enough power, in fact, more than enough power, so that it's not dropping the voltage, because what'll happen when you draw power, okay? So when your power amplifier starts drawing 100 watts, 200 watts, if it does, which is rare, but let's say that it's drawing some amount, if your step-down transformer isn't big enough, the voltage is going to start dropping because it can't supply the same voltage when the current draw is heavy. So you need something that is probably, oh, I like a good 5x, if you can, margin. Now, having said that, and I've said this before, I don't know what your system is, but most systems rarely take more than 10% of the power that an amplifier has to provide until there's some big bass notes or something, in which case you're gonna to need to have some kind of power reserve. So best case, if you have a 100 watt amplifier, you probably want a 500 watt or a 1000 watt step down transformer. So you use five times to 10 times if you can afford it ratio to whatever it is you're trying to power. Okay? Have fun. Bye.